Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to a topic that has just literally started being talked about. I'm going to talk a few more things about football as well and what they could do to help. I'm going to start off with this one. Harry Maguire has asked all Man United players to donate 30% of their wages to charity. And this sort of begs me a question, why can't all Premier League clubs do this? Why can't the players do this? Managers, even the big money men as well. I mean, it really could, you know, have a big impact, especially likes of the NHS and charities around the world. It really does, you know, get me a bit where you talk about like players coming out and saying these things now, why aren't they doing it all the time? I mean, the NHS has always struggled, We've all roughly known that anyway. The RSPC, I know it's an animal charity, but that can help them. Why is it that it's took to now that everyone will start doing their bit? I know Man United have got a foundation, their own charity, same as most clubs have. Brian got Albion and the community, uh, Man United Foundation, and like I know clubs have got their charities across the world. But surely players could do a lot more than what they're doing not necessarily now because they all, all try and do their bit you know for certain charities but you've still got to question why can't they do it you know every time they get paid or if you think about it you got you know like players like Jesse Lingard I'm just going to say a rough estimate probably could be well off but let's just say for example 100 grand he gives 30% of that to a charity, NHS, you know, and a few others I've mentioned. Or, you know, keep it to himself. And then that means more money to the tax man as well. And this is where the Premier League can really help with the likes of the NHS. And obviously, as I've said, other charities. And they can also help, especially the big money men in the clubs. I know we've got a great one down here in Toby Bloom. But yet again, you've got people like, okay, Mike Ashley for Newcastle, who looks like he's selling Newcastle United after, you know, quite a few years as chairman and upsetting quite a few Newcastle fans. If you're a Newcastle fan, please tell me how you feel about Mike Ashley as well. Um, are you glad to see him leave? Do you want him to stay? Because I know a lot of most clubs in the world, there's half and half in any circumstances. And then it gets me down to the lower leagues. League 1, League 2 are big examples of this because we've already been told that if the league continues, and we're still not sure about that yet, and there is more coming up in about that, and I'll speak more about the details of this what could happen in the league in just a minute you know we might not have a football pyramid might be premier league championship and that's it because league one and two clubs are already thinking about putting themselves into administration taking a 12 point deduction which is not good for football i don't actually i think that there should be okay not counting league one and two in this bit but for like premier league champions I think they should be, you know, pa like payouts like big clubs do. If you get my drift, if you don't, I'll try to explain a bit more in the comment section. But I think some money that goes to the tax man should perhaps go to the EFL. And I know a few of you probably sound whoa. But let me finish. I think then the EFL should give it to the smaller clubs who are in financial difficulty. We all know that we lost Berry start of the season and that's why Berry are, you know, a liquidate is. We all know that Macclesfield are in start trouble. That's before the league, you know, came to this big break, whatever you want to call it. They could be in more financial difficulty now than what they were back then. There are loads of things that the Premier League, and I'm not just going to say the Premier League, I'm saying FA, I'm saying you know, EFL could come up with a plan with the Premier League or the FA to sort money out. You know, Premier, so FA, Premier League, EFL, 
even UEFA could help. I know they don't like helping because obviously it's a big European company. If you're not sure who UEFA are, it's the people that do the Champions League and Europa League and the Euro, yeah, all the Euros and yeah, the World Cup is FIFA. Yet again, another government body that can help FIFA really could help these small clubs. I seriously do think that what with Harry Maguire has done with the main light players, I think we should take a big advantage of this and go, right, let's just say for example, and I've said this once in the video, but I'll say it again, I'm not sure if I'll quite clear myself up. Let's say we play football, I think it's weekly wages in the football, I'm not sure if it's weekly or monthly, I think it might be weekly. Right. Anyway, let's just say it's weekly wages, and let's say, for example, because Harry Maguire, who's the main uh, person in this story, which way he's the main person in the thumbnail, let's say Harry Maguire said, right, I want 30% of my wages to go to charity, and they did that every week, the charities would have been as struggling as they are. I seriously do think that in years to come, maybe, I don't know, 2025, 2030, and this brings me on to the other subject. But I think that there should be a thing in the contract saying 30% of your wages goes to charity, or 30% of your wages goes to the smaller clubs, or 30% of your wages, you know, it don't go in your back pocket basically. But this does get me onto the other topic, not the topic I'm going to talk about, but I don't think that chairmans own football clubs anymore. And I can un I can see you going, what? Yeah, what are you want about? Alright, let me take you to Christian Ireland, I think he's one of the players. When players want more money, I think that a lot of the chairmans give in because as I'm saying as an example, Cristiano Ronaldo, a great player. I ain't gonna take nothing away from CR7 or Leon Messi or you know players alike. But let's say he's at your fingers, his contract's coming out, running out of date. Let's say, for example, he goes, but well, I want another 50 grand on top of what I'm already at. And he don't get it. He will leave the club. That is, you know, because he will find it. Maybe not in Italy, maybe not over here, maybe not in Spain, but China. And Chinese Super League is really, you know, a lot of money they earn over there. And that's why a lot of the players go over there. It gets me to the core where I think the big money men should start standing up towards these players and going, I'm not paying you so much. If you want that much, I'll give you, yet again, a percentage of it. And then the rest of it, yet again, goes towards the charities or the smaller clubs out of desperate need of money. Now this is on to the other subject, which I want to talk about. And it's quite an interesting one because of the Premier League meeting up this Friday, as I know. Will the Premier League start again and what can happen to the bottom three clubs? Now I'm using these bottom three clubs, for example, because the SPL their championship and division what uh, the only league that is starting or is, may still start again i can't say it's actually starting for definite is the scottish premier league now with the premier league as i said meeting up this friday if they go right we're going to cancel the season now you know it's over and they do what, what the scottish league done the bottom three clubs will go down and the current bottom three clubs are Bournemouth, Norwich and Villa. Or in order it's Norwich, Villa and Bournemouth. Will that happen? And this is a question to you by the way. If you feel like you know, getting involved, please feel free to get again, put your comments down below. Will the Premier League season finish now or will we you know, start again? And if you look closely on my thumbnail you will realise Wembley and that has brought up another subject to me because of what the Premier League have asked the FA you know they've asked them to use Wembley Stadium they've asked them to use St George's Park I can understand the St George's Park bit because I think they've got about 
12 full size pictures but the Wembley I don't quite get that bit but anyway that's you know but as I said what can happen to the bottom three clubs relegation could we end up with 22 clubs that season and if that's the case we're going to have to relegate five clubs from the following season but then in the championship it won't be unfair with the clubs in the playoff places and this is where the playoffs mucked up. I've always, you know, thought to myself, why don't the top three clubs just go up? You know, no playoffs, none of this, you know, two legs, none of this, you know, Wembley final. I know a lot of fans like going to Wembley. I certainly did enjoy going to Wembley and seeing my club play in the FA Cup semi-final last season. But they've got to come up with a better pyramid of you know what and how these divisions are going to work it's fine doing the players but if something like this happens again as i said in my last video i hope it don't but we've got to come up with a better strategy or the premier league and the efl have got to come up with a better strategy of doing things i mean it's as I've said in like the first story that I covered, Berry went out of the liquid uh, went into a liquidation story and now look now no longer in the football league. Why yet again don't even if that's thirty percent charity where they go right for this week or you know, as I said I think it's going to be in the Premier League. Um this week your thirty percent gotta go to the FL to go towards the smaller club. There is so much more that the Premier League, FA, FIFA, maybe UEFA could do. Why has it took it to this now to start sorting stuff out like this? It gets me a bit to the core where, you know, it's all the players want to do something now. The NHS has been around for years, absolute years. It's took you for this big thing to happen before the players start going. Oh, I want to donate money to charity. I want to do this. I want to do that. Why now? And that is the question I want to ask you. Why now? If you could come up with a good explanation why now, you know, it'd be really good to hear from you. It's just really got me, you know, with Harry Maguire saying 30% of your wages, I want you to donate to charity. That's all main night plans, by the way. So you've got Marcus Rashford. Jesse Lingard, Lindelof, David De Gea, all when players have been asked, why don't a bigger man of every club, you know, go up to our players and go, I want to give, I want you all to donate for of your wages. We all know, you know, you've got lots of money, that's nothing to hide, except from the lower league clubs, I know I haven't got it, that's why all of them dream to play in the big time. But, you know, same with Bar Munich. Obviously, a bit of subject, but Bayern Munich and Bundesliga, Juventus, or, you know, it, all these clubs across the world can really start on helping their local causes. I'm looking at this second story about Premier League starting again. If it does start again, we've all, you know, said what, you know, it probably will start behind closed doors, obviously, refunds and season tickets and such. Or do they wait until that perfect time? Obviously, we've got no Euro 2020 now, it's been cancelled, Olympics have been cancelled. So, the Premier League are under no real pressure of getting this league started again. We've got a clear window, which all us fans wanted, but well, what I certainly wanted, you can speak for yourself yet again down in the comments below. But this League 1 and 2 really does concern me. Are we going to have a League 1 and 2 next season? Are we going to have a League 1 or 2 if we get back on the way this season? And, you know, this sort of comes into Premier League. As I said, you know, let's just say, I'll use him again here, Harry Maguire, 30% wages, went to the NFL, went towards the small club. That could be a big key to them, a massive key to them. It could keep them heads above water, can help them develop the ground, better players, that's just 30%. But as soon as you sign your first professional contract, yeah, again, I've got gone here at Man United, and you're getting paid 50k a week. I know I'm getting paid a lot more than that. That's 100k within two weeks of payment. That's 200k a month. Now, surely you're not going to miss a percentage of that because 
I remember yet again, I said this in my last story, I'll say it again. Wayne Rooney's getting paid a million pound a month at Man United at one point. A million pound. We struggle with the likes of, you know, win winning the lottery and winning like eight to nine million pounds. We struggle to spend that. That nine, like, say, some million pound over 12 months, that's 12 million he's got in his bank over the year. 12 million! I mean, man, really? But, you know, as I said, that's in my previous video. I'll put up on the end of this video, so if you want to go check it out and listen to that story a bit more. But anyway, I just thought I'd give this suggestion out there because it is really interesting that Harry Maguire has came out and asked all these main United like, teammates to donate 30% wages to charity. I thought it's interesting. Please feel free to put your comments down below how you feel about it. Should more clubs do stuff like this to help, you know, the likes of the NHS and, you know, charities around? But um, anyway, guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end. Guys, you know what to do, so a big fun if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Share for now.